I pre-ordered and play. And ended up finishing in 13 hours. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, though I'm sure it can be finished faster. Hey, Warriors of, hey, Warriors of Lights, this is KVW here, right back with you for another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Kingdom Hearts Mer Maria Melody that has just released last November 13th. I pre-ordered it in advance digitally so I was able to get it when it released and I played it I believe I finished within two days ended up being 13 hours of play it is amazing it is really good the fun the is a very different game from the rest of the series way better than Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 2 I mean, Square Enix really, I felt like they really took the complaints from Atlantica and just really turned it up a lot. They got rid of the having to press specific buttons to narrowing it down to three buttons. That you press, as you guys know, left and right trigger, which is L1, R1, and, and X, cross. I, I guess it's called cross. They said cross, and I guess we weren't supposed to be saying X. They also give you an option to use the D-pad. My favorite parts of the games had to have been the boss battles, which are very, very, very in-depth. They, they divide it up into, I guess, attacking uh, stages, and then defense modes stages, where you have to... You press the correct button using the buttons that you already have used and in addition to using the analog sticks. Left, right, or both when it calls for. I believe it has a lot of replay value, of course, because you always, if you're like me and you're a bit uh, competitive or you have high, you, you know, you got to get that high score. You've got to get that full chain in. It's going to be great for you. You're going to have a blast. Down to the, so the, the song selection was really good. The soundtracks to all of the games were just astonishing. Just astonishing. I've, I pick up whatever uh, CDs that I can. I went a few years back to the World Trace uh, performance. Uh, I guess the nearest location to me was the one in, I, I was it Pittsburgh? I believe Pittsburgh. Uh, and I, it was amazing. I actually saw someone wearing a aqua outfit and it was like spot on. It, and you know it was from point two because she had the accessories. I, I digress. It offers a game mode uh, for multiplayer which is really good. I do wish you can play against people you know, but that's that's somewhat remedied with the option for local play, which I feel like local play is a bit threatened right about now. I, I grew up with split screen play, and it just doesn't seem like they're going towards that and more geared towards an online format. Uh, the story was amazing. I was so... I was so pissed because you get to the point where Kyrie's there and you're like, wait, where's Kyrie? Where, where's, where's, I, 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 I can't play as this girl. And then I'm like, yes, I get to play as Kyrie. And then she turns into Sora and I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anyway, uh, so it was great. Uh, there was only a little bit of additive to the lore, but what it did was really release a bombshell. Uh, you learn about Kyrie, and as she recalls her traumatic experience, you learn how she got to Sora. You learn how she got to Sora. It was not an accident. She did not get swept by the darkness. She was planted so that she would find a particular Keyblade wielder. That ended up being Sora. And actually, I, I would say that that's not surprising. You, if uh, In Kingdom Hearts, 
Dream Drop Distance, his outfit that Sora had on. Riku had a new outfit on and Sora had a modified outfit that mirrored more of his Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit with an X sigil that later on was determined that it was used to track him. The game did not exactly tell you how Kairi got to the final world. That was a bit of a surprise. First one of many because this game really did a good job at delivering surprises. Next thing, uh, she is visited by a hooded figure who I thought personally was the master of masters. Later on to the, to, to find out that you that you've killed that you defeated Xehanort, but here he is. And you're like, darn it dude, why won't you stay dead? Why won't you stay dead? I mean, uh then he actually ends up telling her that he had placed her with Sora indirectly someone could have been anyone he didn't know but at the uh with a specific keyblade we were there it ended up being Sora but you see her running her running away from Heartless which they look controlled they look controlled. If you re if you watch the cutscene, they look like they were popping out right in her way to in as to close her off in order to be captured by Terra Zaynor, uh, Anson Wise, the Wise's apprentice, um, where he kidnapped.